morning everybody, it's time for Sunday School again. I thought it would be nice to have an Advent wreath and light a candle each week as we would normally do in church. Each candle means something and we're going to learn about this over Advent, which is the four weeks leading up to Jesus' birth, so Christmas Day. So let's light our first candle and this week it's for hope. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, send your spirit of hope into our hearts. Amen. This week we're going to look at the hope and how Mary and Joseph had hope for what was to come. Let's watch the story from where the angel visited Mary and Joseph. The story of Christmas, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. Hi. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey -o. Hi, Joseph! One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah. That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow! So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow! The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this! So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? and took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. We heard in the story that Mary and Joseph would have been very frightened about what the angel had to say to them, as not many people would have, talk, would have had an angel talk to them. Mary was shocked and Joseph was not quite sure what to do. However, because both of them were faithful servants of God, they prayed about it and did exactly as God wanted them to do. They got married and hoped very much that all was going to be well, just as the angel had told them it would be. So I thought we would do a craft today that reminds us of our angel. So I've got a craft that we can hang on our tree. Um, just to jog our memories every time we look at it, of the angel who came to visit Mary. And this can be found on our church website. Let's go away this week and think about the word hope and what it means to us and what we hope for our futures. Have a good week, everybody, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.